What it do guys, it's your boy Crispy T and I'm back with an update which is update number 4 on Calling of a Revenue Bird episode 8 concerning what's going on with Walmart and MassMart. Now Walmart, as I said and I prophesied there that the American parent company has now actually embarked on the takeover. Now not that I was shown this particular takeover, but the takeover I was shown was that, yes, Walmart will actually exit the market. Um, and another American retailer, I do know the name of the retailer, um, but I'm just holding back so that this is um, something that is just not convoluted. And it's, um, you know, it's it's rather too about it's, it's rather about just showing people that, you know, the spirit of God knows everything and is all wise and um you know and as the bible even says you know god knows you know as far as is the all-knowing um god and um he knows the beginning from the end so what's going on here even in the world of business and um this transaction over here is um is that it's going to lead to the paradigm and i'm not saying that it's just um it's because of this that there's mass job loss uh, mass job losses that's not what i'm saying but it'll also be a quite a significant point that we are going to reach quite an apex in terms of the unemployment here in south africa so there's there's a reason and a strategic intent that yes it's looking at one organization but it's also looking at the bigger picture and what will happen to the ongoing economics as far as um south africa and the economic prosperity and prospect thereof so in this case and what will happen here is that at this point and what walmart has done is that they've actually bought up the remaining minority shares of the company meaning that of the mass mart um, company of their child or their subsidiary in this uh, case and they can pretty much slap on Walmart stickers or Walmart um, their logo or their brand all over South Africa if, at this juncture. So if they don't like the name Game, for instance, they can just put down Walmart Gaming Store or whatever it is, and uh, that's what it entitles them to. However, what I was shown in the spirit was that they're going to sell off their properties and sell it to another competitor in America, though, and this competitor, I, like I said, I already know the name, but I'm not going to say it um, at this point. This competitor is going to replace the existing department stores, which are Game and Macro, and it's going. Then they're going to start replacing them with smaller stores, and the smaller stores are going to be more grocery stores. So this is what's going to happen. It's displacing more so a failed business model which is the department store model so if the department stores in this instance are going to fail at uh, properties that they already own like at macro and then you have the department stores that are in the malls that you have as game so if the one if it's if it's easier and assume and you're assuming that it's easier to run a business if you already own the um the asset or let's say you don't have to pay anyone any rent or anything like at the shopping malls uh, um for instance then you would assume that game is only is only going to struggle because of the high rental fees and if they are not making any profits then you would think that okay there's a better chance of macro surviving rather than game because macro is at least operating at its own property. So make no mistakes about that. And um, if you have noticed the trend in businesses in general is um, that businesses, um, if, even if um, there was a time that, especially the smaller scale ones, they move away from the big um big malls or these mega shopping malls and then they start going into their own let's say they start operating from their own houses for instance because why it's cheaper to operate the business from your own properties so the same logic uh, um, actually happens here except that there's no way that um, game is going to start or sorry walmart is going to now start um, taking game out of the malls into their own properties because they're not going to take out more properties just to run the game logo. And they already have a redundant business model here with Macro. So 
make no mistakes about it. And they're not going to be more macro stores. And um, it, it's just a matter of, at this point, their balance sheet is not looking too healthy. And they're just going to decide, well, for all those that are commercially astute, it means that they are they have long-term debt, which they did not pay off. And because of that, it's just not going to be sustainable for them to keep the stores running the way they are any longer. So... Yeah, um, it's been a risky market, and we all know what happened last year with the um, shopping, well, with the uh, looting and everything. So there were just mass losses, and again, the unemployment situation is making it a little bit more precarious in that in case something like that happens again. And so I guess they're looking at their overall sustainability at this point, and um, South Africa is just not conducive to its plans. So somebody else with a better business model is going to um going to come in and um and start operating from within that now make no mistakes in that initial prophecy i also did um say there was a local business and this was already happened where the local uh, grocery store is going to take over the bulk um order where you saw that in certain um like the certain cash generating, like they had Rhino, they had um, Cambridge Foods, something like that. I, I can't remember if Rhino is one of them. I'm so sorry that um, as far as those business units that were selling bulk groceries, um, Checkers and ShopRite were going to come into that space. And that already happened, even though I wasn't shown um, that particular transaction happening like that. I was only shown that where Checkers were starting to expand um and i was thinking to myself well if this store is um is going to be going out the market then surely this must mean that um, somebody else is going to take over that um business model because you know it's 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 not a matter of it's a um and especially that we're in a struggling economy so people are going to need to save so when you think about about the whole thing about buying in bulk and saving that's the whole um pre you know the whole um well the whole mindset behind all of this and um that is what is going to be the you know as far as just be prevalent um mindset or the prevalent shoppers mentality over here and that's not going to go away especially in a struggling economy people will want to buy bulk and they will want to save so Make no mistake, it was a perfect opportunity for ShopRite to go in there and ShopRite Holdings and meaning checkers as well. So that has already happened in principle. That was a partial fulfillment. And now this is the letter fulfillment. I just want to put people's attention back to that. And uh, another American retailer is going to now come in and take over this current uh, business model. Now, with Walmart buying all of these shares in and the remaining minority shares, in this, uh, in MassMart, their subsidiary over here in South Africa, meaning they they are the parent company, meaning their own child over here. Um, it means that they've got now got total control of selling off whatever they need to sell off, and them now removing their thing from the um, well delisting from the Johannesburg Stock Securities Exchange is um, it just entails that. It's just made things a little bit more easier to manage and to um, downscale a little bit. And yeah, so the extra nitty gritty come um, the, net, the extra nitty gritty red tape that would need to go around has sort of now just um, been c- completely eliminated and they can sell off. And what I'm saying here is that forget everything um, as to what they're saying that um, maybe they're going to be a little bit patient, but however, the sell off is going to happen. Anyway, um, that's just um, the update uh, right now concerning number four. And please check out all the others just to see exactly what's going on. And I'm just showing you people exactly why I had to, why I felt I needed to hold back on the names and all of that. Names are a little bit expensive. You want everything to go according to the way God uh, intends it to go. So make no mistake, it is going to happen um, if everything else which was called ahead of time has happened the way God wanted it to happen. This is the nature of prophecy and this is the nature of God's will being done. 
Hang in there, people. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and everything will come right. And um, yes, praying for all the children of God out there in the world. Peace. Bye-bye.